Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the Cooler Master Gaming Desk. This is the GD120 ARGB Desk. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, everything looks great. They walk us through some of the key features. So this will work with the Cooler Master Master Plus software to control the ARGB lighting on this desk to match it up and sync it to your other parts and components. This also has built-in cable management, a nice aluminum finish 220 pounds of tabletop support so this is a very durable and sturdy and strong desk it also comes with a mouse pad now let's go ahead let's open it up and look at the contents Here are all the parts and components. First up, you can see we have all of our framing right here for the stand, followed by our instruction guide and manual, walking us through everything we need to know about this desk. Its specs, you can see its dimensions right there. Then we have a nice parts list as well with everything labeled for you. So really helpful charts and diagrams walking you through full setup, step by step. Then you can see we have our cable management tray followed by our mouse pad. We have additional brackets and cabling. You can see we have our USB cable, our LED box that's going to manage and power everything for us. All the hardware, all the screws and tools that you need are included as well, clearly labeled. And you can see we also have our four feet for the desk that are adjustable and they screw right on. And lastly, we have the tabletop itself. Check that out. Everything looks great. We got the Cooler Master logo on it. We got the Cooler Master purple on the side. You can see we have a nice cable management slot built into the desk as well. Now let's go ahead. Let's get everything set up. All right, so step one, we're gonna be installing what they call the desk knobs right here. So go ahead, you can see the pieces that we're gonna use and you're just gonna gently thread them in place. So there we go, one down, three to go. Now it's time for step two. In step two, we're gonna be connecting the legs together with the framing that you see here. Pay attention to how everything goes. You wanna make sure that you have the holes lined up properly on the right side so you can see how it's going to fasten together and you can pay attention to the finish here at the bottom of our support beam as well. We're gonna be using our screws marked K. So we'll be using eight screws marked K in this step to fasten everything in place. So it'll look just like what you're seeing right here. Now we're ready for step three. For this step, you can see the two support brackets that we're gonna be using and pay attention to how they're gonna be installed on the desk right here. So just line everything up with the four screw holes and you're gonna take four of the screws labeled K. That should be your last eight, four for each side and fasten them in place. Now you can see we have our finished step three right here. So everything's fastened in place, keeping everything nice and tight together. Now it's time for step four, where we're gonna connect our LED control box. So you can see we have one cable coming out of the desk itself, and we have one additional cable provided to us. You can see it's a micro USB to USB type A cable. So we need to take our LED control box and make all the proper connections. So just line it up, press it in place. Then you can see our micro USB cable is also going to be installed. So just gently plug that in. There we go, we just finished step four. Now it's time for step five, where we're gonna be fastening down the stand that we assembled in previous steps. So we'll be using four of the screws marked L. You can see those right here. It's the only screws you have left besides the spare screws that are provided. You can see how we have the stand lined up right here. So check it out, we have our brackets and our holes and we gotta make sure that we can have everything fit in place properly. Also at this step, you may notice too, our LED control box is now successfully hidden. So it stores up right underneath here. It is magnetic. You might be able to see it, you might not. We're gonna tuck that cable up underneath and then you can see we routed our USB cable out the back slot like we have one at the front. So you can choose which side works best for you and your needs. But I wanted it out the back here so then we can route it up through here to connect to our computer. 
Step five is finished. You can see everything's assembled right here. We now have the desktop onto the stand and frame. Take note, you can see on the brackets right here, we did have to redo this. We put them on the wrong way initially. So pay attention, the longer side you see right here, that's gonna be a lot longer than this other side. That's gonna be the side that goes down and actually rests on the desktop and surface. Whereas the shorter side's gonna be on the framing itself. So make sure you have that the right way so you can get everything installed properly. Now it's time for step six. You can see we're gonna be installing our cable management tray right here. Here's the four threads where it's gonna go on the desk. So you're gonna line up the four holes that you see. And once it's installed, it'll look just like this. So you can see how that's gonna look. We have the four remaining screws that we have that we're gonna to use to fasten it in place. Now we're ready for step seven, our final step. You can see we have the desk all set and ready to go. And now it's time to put the included mouse pad on. Check that out, there we go. We have our completed desk, everything looks great. I do wanna point out too, you'll have a couple of 3M cable tie adhesive strips right here that you can use to help better your cable management with the cable tray and around the desk. But there you go, you can see how everything looks all set up and ready to go. Now we're at the desk, all set up, check it out. Look at how beautiful the RGB lighting is right here. Very rich, bright, and vibrant. Seriously, so bright. I'm impressed with how bright the light is on the strip in the front. I like it so much, I really wish we had some additional lighting all throughout the rest of the desk. You can see too, the height of the desk right here, it is a fixed height. You do have a little bit of wiggle room if you wanted to adjust the feet, maybe give you an inch one way or the other, but for me, 5.9 with the chair that I'm using, the Caliber R2C. It is a nice fit. I can actually get the arms underneath the desk if I wanted to, or again, I can adjust the height up, but I'm really happy with how everything is coming together here with my height at 5.9 and the chair that I'm using. Now you can see on the computer, we have the Cooler Master Master Plus software up. You can see the interface right here where we can choose all of our different Cooler Master products. We can configure and control them as we see fit. So we have the GD120 selected, that's our desk. And you can see we have a real-time view of it right here, showing the current LED mode that we're in. We can easily reset that as needed. We also have a lot of different options down here. You can see we have our LED color, so depending on the effect that we're using, we can adjust the color. Then you can see our different LED modes right here. And lastly, we have our LED speed and our direction adjustments depending on the setting that we're in. So first up, you're looking at Spectrum right here. It looks really nice, really happy. It's definitely my favorite effect out of the bunch. Now we're looking at Reload. You can see Reload and what that looks like, and we can change colors for that. Again, we can choose different options here. Then we have Recoil. You can see Recoil right here. That's gonna basically have two balls of light moving back and forth along the desk. Next up, we have our breathing mode, pulsing with different lights and colors. You can choose the color that you want. Next, you can see we have refill right here, how the light basically builds and builds and builds until it's full, and then it starts over again. And then lastly, you can see we have the custom option right here. So for this mode option right now at the time of the video, for some reason, it doesn't matter Whatever one I choose, it still stays purple. So you can see the colors changing on the screen right here that we selected. But unfortunately, you can see even up top, it hasn't changed on the light itself or on the desk. Now let me share with you my final thoughts after using our Cooler Master Gaming Desk. Overall, fantastic experience with it. You might be wondering, hey, how long does it actually take to set up? I'd say it took me around 20 minutes. If you know what you're doing, I wouldn't be surprised if you could do it in 15 minutes or less, very simple and straightforward. There's only seven steps, and the seventh step is just putting a mouse pad on the desk. So very, very pleased with the build experience overall. In regards to quality, top notch, really happy with it. Love the lighting colors on here. The RGB is fantastic, super bright, vivid, and vibrant. I can't say enough good things about it. I really wish they gave us more lighting options on here. I want some more RGB on the sides, the back, up at the top, whatever they could do to incorporate more RGB, that would be great. Because chances are you're buying this desk because you want an RGB desk. So I really want them to continue to enhance the placement of the light and maybe some future versions and variations of this. 
Also, I want to point out, this is not an electric desk or a sit-stand desk or anything like that. That would be really cool if they could incorporate that into the future. I would love to be able to have that ability. Obviously, I know if I'm making that request, it's going to change the price point of this product. And I'd say for most gamers, you're going to be happy at this fixed height. Lastly, I think they missed a little bit here by not making a USB hub or integration with this desk. So since we already have to use a USB cable to connect to our PC for the lights, it would be really cool if they had a little hub right here, maybe somewhere up top or closer to where the monitor is, maybe if you have your PC on the desk, where you could plug a couple of USB cables in, maybe connect your keyboard or your mouse, an SD card reader, things like that. That would be really nice in the future if this had a built-in USB hub.